Hi there, welcome back to the Dutch RC channel for part 2 in the build series of the MiG-29 by RC Powers. Now as you can see I have uh, cut out all the templates, the paper templates, this is all just uh, paper as you can see. And these will be transferred to foam board and or Depron. <coughs> now, um, as I mentioned before, I'll be doing a few changes to the original design and I'll go over them right now. This is a good chance to do so, I think. Um, well, the first thing is that I uh, printed the wing pieces twice, as you can see. These are four template pieces that I've just taped together and uh, this, this whole section is smaller than a foam board uh, sheet so I can uh, just uh, cut it out in one piece uh, it'll save me some uh, gluing and it'll, it'll be stiffer so all good things the second change I will make um, these are the elevators and or uh, the Aerons. Uh, they are separate pieces as you can see and actually I, I told you in part one that you can build this plane with four servos <coughs> you can actually get by with just two by having these two be the elevators and the, the ailerons I won't be doing that I will uh, also make ailerons over here in the, uh, uh, in the wing sections and okay, the, the, the second uh, or the, the third change then really is that I won't be using these as uh, ailerons so I'll make those one piece it'll make it a little stiffer and I, I just want the ailerons to be uh, near the center of the plane to have a, a more a, a smoother roll and okay another change that I will make these sections over here these the, the the width of the elevator I will make it a little bigger I'm not sure approximately three centimeters bigger just to stiffen it up a little also here in the center two to three centimeters wider uh, to give it a little more strength and it'll improve the uh, elevator uh, authority of the plane uh, this whole section will be in the prop wash as the prop will be here, mounted here. So these will these sections will all be in the prop wash. So by making these parts, these slats over here a little bigger, it'll give me more elevator control or authority. Okay, and here is one of the runner pieces that will go onto here like this. Here's one and there, there will, will be one. Um, I will be making those a little smaller. Um, as I mentioned I've built uh, this plane before and I know these are far larger than needed. So I'll take off about one third I think. I'm not completely sure, I'll just take off a piece and uh, see how it looks to me. Alright, that's a change I'll make. Um, yeah, here the, these runner boards, these will be on the under, on the belly of the that beast <laughs> or the, the plane. Here will be one and there on the on, on the side. Um, I'll be making four of those. So I'll uh, stack them up. Uh, it'll be uh, twice. Uh, six millimeter Depron in my case. Yes, I'll be making these of Depron. Um, well, uh, for for strength and it'll hide the servos a little more from the airstream. The, the the servos will all, almost be completely inside of these runner boards. And uh, what what next? I. Here is the, the, the nose section really of the plane. I'll be making two of those as well. And uh, out of uh, six millimeter Depron, so 1.2 uh, centimeters of Depron. <coughs> so 
sorry, excuse me. Uh, just for strength, really. And um, yeah, no, that's it, really. That's uh, the changes I'll make. And uh, well, of course, next thing uh, up is uh, cutting out all the, the pieces. Like I said, this here will be made out of foam board. R really, all pieces that need uh, stiffness will be made out of foam board. So, this, the elevator, will also be made out of foam board. The rubber, and uh, that is it. The rest. Uh, the, the fuselage nose section will be made out of Depron. These runner boards will be made out of Depron. This here, what is this? This is, this is the, the bottom side really of the plane. It will be approximately mounted over here on the bottom of the plane. That will be made out of uh, Depron. And this is a bottom piece as well. Uh, where will this go approximately? Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, but the, I'll make that out of um, Depron as well. Am um, I forgetting something? Ah, yeah. Um, I'll also be putting a KF2 airfoil on top of the wing. So it'll be approximately 40% in width of the wing. There'll be a KF2 airfoil and that will also be made out of Depron. It'll stiffen the, the, the wing up a little and it uh, provides a, a bit of lift. Um, yeah, okay, so um, I'll be uh, cutting out uh, all the parts from Foamboard and Depron. I won't uh, bore you with uh, showing you how I cut Foamboard and Depron. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'll come back to you when that's all said and done. Ta da! So, and with the magic of YouTube, we now have a bunch of parts. And um, you might notice that some parts are white, some parts are grey. And I've done that for uh, YouTube reasons, for, so you can easily distinguish the foam board. All white parts are foam board. Uh, from the Depron, all uh, grey parts are 6mm Depron parts. Um, so what do we have here? Of course we've got the wing sections and the nose parts. And we've got two runners. And we've got an elevator. Like I said, the elevator is a one piece uh, uh, part in my case. Uh, this is part of the bottom section. These are uprights for the bottom section. Uh, this is the fuselage nose part. And these are the side runners that will go under here, upright. Um, and uh, I've thrown away most of the, paper, the templates, but I've kept one, the nose part, because the CG is marked on it. So it's handy to keep that as a reference. So I can check the CG when I'm done with everything. Um, well, of course, while cutting, it's uh, important to check if if the elevator doesn't bind up to the to the uh, body of the plane. So I've got about a two millimeter gap on either side. That'll be okay. And uh, well, what more? Yeah, um, I haven't drawn up and cut out the ailerons yet. I still have to do that, uh, but that's really pretty simple. Um, I'll make them three centimeters in width and almost the entire length of the wing. Uh, I'll keep a, a little part over here for uh, added uh, strength. And of course I'll have to glue the, the nose parts uh, together. As you can see there are two 6mm Depron parts for the nose. And the side runners are, aren't glued together either. So I'll, uh, I'll just glue those uh, together off screen. And I'll use uh, just simple spray on, 3N uh, permanent spray on glue. Because uh, that glue bond doesn't... Uh, need to add a lot of strength to the plane itself. So, um, 
what, what more do I have to do? Yeah, I have to do a little shaving. Uh, these front, the fronts of the, the wings are square at the moment, so I'll, I'll shave those off. And uh, that's it. That's, uh, those are the things I'll be doing off camera now. And in the next video we'll be uh, assembling uh, the plane. Uh, we'll also be checking the electronics. Um, yeah, that's it. So, um, hope to see you back in the next video. And we're pretty... actually... This was the biggest part of the build, the, the, the making of the templates and the cutting out. We're actually pretty close to uh, being able to um, maiden uh, the plane, although I know it doesn't uh, look like it now. But uh, if you watch the next video you'll see we'll, uh, we'll get to that uh, stage very quickly now. So, thank you very much for watching, hope to see you back in the next video. If you're not subscribed yet, uh, please do, helps me out a lot. And see you back. Bye bye.